Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome to my channel on which I create Photoshop tutorials. And in today's video, I want to show you the best way for adjusting contrast in Photoshop. So something very simple, but extremely useful. And now you're going to know how to do this selectively. So I'm going to remove this group in which I adjusted the contrast. And first of all, we need to choose two adjustment layers that allows us to work with lights. The best adjustment layers to me are curves. So I'm going to create one and rename this into the highlights. So this adjustment layer will be for the highlights. Then I'm going to press Command or Control NJ to duplicate this. And this one will be called Shadows. So we have two adjustment layers now. First, highlights on which we are going to define highlights. I am going to image, apply image, and then as the source, layer merge, blending, multiply, everything is fine here. And then hit OK. What happened in our highlights layer right now, we have defined our lights. So pretty good. We can freely work on the highlights. But before that, let's define our shadows. Easy way to do this, you can press Command or Control, hit on this highlight layer, then choose Layer Mask for the shadows and press Command or Control and I to invert the layer mask. So now we have two layers mask. Let's press Alt or Option to view how they look. Highlights and shadows. OK, let's do it. I'm going to open curves, bring up the curve adjustment layer. It increases a little bit of the saturation. So change blending mode from normal to luminosity. Then go to the shadows and for the shadows, decrease your curve a little bit and also change blending mode from normal to luminosity. So I'm going to put this to the group. I'm going to press shift, select these two layers, then command or control and G. This is before and this is after. Of course, you can be a little bit more selective by dragging up this curve a little bit here to make sure that this area won't be really affected. And as you can see, because we defined our masks, one for the highlights and one for the shadows, then manipulating with the curves affected only the areas that are white on the layer masks. Thanks to this, we're very selective and very precise in creating our contrasts. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on the Instagram. And if you want to get a little bit more professional knowledge of Photoshop, check the links in the description and maybe you will be interested in some of my premium courses. Thank you for watching.